Word on the street, or more specifically, the streets of Hidden Hills, is that Shay Mitchell is the latest celeb to grab a home in the posh neighborhood. The actress dropped $7.2 million on a stunning Mediterranean-inspired property, which boasts a spacious main house, guest house, pool house, and more. Aside from this new crib, Shay still owns her 1920s villa in Los Feliz she bought in 2014 and recently renovated. In this video, we'll check out Shay's homes. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Shay Mitchell is a Canadian actress and model who you may know best from starring on the drama series Pretty Little Liars as Emily from 2010 to 2017. Not to mention, Shay went on to score some other big roles in shows such as You and Dollface. Currently, sources peg the actress's net worth at around $6 million, but with her latest real estate splurge, I'm gonna guess she's worth more. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one checking out where Shay Mitchell calls home. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. While you may have seen Shay's other home in Los Feliz she's been living at for a while, she recently upgraded to one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in all of Los Angeles, Hidden Hills. The actress will now be joining plenty of famous neighbors including Jeffree Star, Lil Wayne, and most of the Kardashian-Jenner clan, just to name a few. Records show that Shay dropped $7.2 million on a Mediterranean-style mansion in the posh and private community, which sits on 1.57 acres of land. The abode was built in 1990 and designed by famed architect Richard Landry, and the exterior of Shay's new digs offers extensive stonework and a red tile roof. The lot is lush and full of greenery, multicolored roses and oak trees creating an oasis. Inside, you'll find mostly a warm and neutral color palette with plenty of soaring beam ceilings, wood floors, and expensive upgrades. The double front door guides you into Shay's new family mansion, which she'll be sharing with her longtime partner Matt Babel and their baby daughter, and there's plenty of space. 7,877 square feet of it to be exact. Aside from the main home, the expansive property boasts a detached guest house as well as an additional pool house where there are five bedrooms and seven bathrooms inside. First things first, the turret style entryway is certainly a highlight of the mansion and it opens into a circular foyer with high ceilings and French doors that lead to the backyard. I don't know about you, but this entrance hall gives me art gallery vibes too. Also on the main level of Shay's new digs, there's a massive formal living room with a wood beam ceiling, fireplace and glass doors out to a terrace, while an even bigger open plan family room has another fireplace with more glass doors to the pool as well as a wet bar. Shay can cook up a storm or hire someone to do that for her in the chef's kitchen, which has a large marble island in the center, top quality appliances and an attached breakfast room. If that's not enough, this floor also offers a formal dining room with wine cellar, as well as a private office with its own bathroom. A grand staircase leads upstairs where there are four bedrooms, the best of them all being Shay's new master suite. Her retreat is a super spacious room with a large private balcony offering amazing views, as well as double walk-in closets perfect for his and hers. The attached bath is decked out in luxurious stone and boasts a steam shower, separate tub, and double-sided fireplace. I gotta say, Shay, that is one nice bathroom. The interiors of her Hidden Hills getaway are gorgeous and it has the grounds to match. Outside, there is much more to offer, including a barbecue or grilling station, complete with a pizza oven, refrigerator, beer tap, and seats for guests. If that's not enough to entertain, the pool is easily accessible off of the main mansion, just past the outdoor dining table, and the pool boasts a gazebo top spa, sunny deck, and fountains. Moving down the steps out back to a lower level of the yard, there's the guest house that has a bedroom, kitchen, and den with fireplace, which is ideal for family or staff. Elsewhere, Shay's new property even has a sports court and a pool house with bathroom. Shay still owns her former home, which underwent a major redesign recently and was featured in Architectural Digest. 
This house is located in the Los Feliz neighborhood of LA and it's a 1920s villa the actress purchased in 2014 for $3.7 million. She was drawn to the Spanish influence in the home's design and it's clear that her new home has a similar vibe. Her Los Feliz house boasted round entryways as well as tiles and while she decorated the house in 2016, she wanted a new look for the space more recently. Not to mention she was welcoming her baby and her partner Mam moving in. The entryway of the home is totally Spanish style with the red tiled staircase and an iron railing, while one of the living rooms here is light filled with reclaimed pieces such as the bench style seat that was found in a back garden here. This room also has exposed beams and a fireplace for a cozy family friendly atmosphere. After the redesign, each room in Shay's house got a different vibe. For instance, the other living area which you enter through the bar is moodier. It's painted a bluish grey and has a dark green velvet couch as well as Moroccan inspired touches. The bar room seems to have floral wallpaper on one side at least while there's a collection of playful vintage statues throughout the space as well. Also on the main level there's a roomy kitchen with a monochromatic theme, marble counters and black and white cabinets. One white tiled wall offers a grand arch that leads to the terrace via French doors. The attached breakfast nook is unique from the rest of the kitchen, boasting a marble table from an antique shop as well as a hanging light above. For hosting guests or elegant entertaining, the separate dining room in Chez Los Feliz house has a custom table with chairs and hammered brass sconces. Moving to the upper level of the abode, the master suite was designed to be calming. It's not nearly as big as the one in her new mansion, but it's decidedly warm with furnishings such as a custom mohair covered bed and a classy rug. Their daughter's nursery in this home was painted a soft pink and featured a brass crib with black and white photos of Shay and Matt on the wall beside, most of which were photos taken on the couple's travels. Shay said about this personal touch, It's always wonderful to have lovely people, but also to have places that you've been to, especially with her name being Atlas. It goes hand in hand with all these places that she's been already without her knowing. So now we've taken a look at actress Shay Mitchell and where she calls home. This includes her new $7.2 million Hidden Hills Escape, as well as her longtime Los Feliz house that was recently redecorated. She does end up selling her former home, the new owner will certainly benefit from all the upgrades and stylish makeover. If you had to live in one of the homes, which would it be? I think they both have a beautiful style, but the newest one is hands down my favorite. In her Los Feliz home I love the bar and the attached moody living area best, but I like the new mansion because of the sprawling open feel and high ceilings in most of the rooms. Some of the highlights of the new house in my opinion include the turret style entryway, the master suite and of course the pool and the bar outside. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Shay's properties in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!